Hello, beautiful mavens. It is day 23 of our Magic Gratitude Challenge, which means we are on magic practice number 22 in the magic by Rhonda Byrne. And it's called Before Your Very Eyes. It starts with a quote by Thomas Carlyle, who was born in 1795 and died in 1881. He was a writer and historian. And the quote goes like this. This world, after all our science and sciences, is still a miracle, wonderful, inscrutable, magical, and more to whosoever will think of it. Seven years ago, when I first discovered the secret and the magical power of gratitude, I made a list of all of my desires. It was a long list. At that time, there seemed to be no possible way my desires could come true. Nevertheless, I took my top 10 desires and I carried them with me on a piece of paper every day. Whenever I had an opportunity, I would take out my list and read through it, giving as much gratitude for each desire as I could, as though I had received it. With my number one desire, the desire I wanted more than anything else, I kept it constantly in mind. And I would say the magic words, thank you for it multiple times in a day and feel as if it had come true. One by one, every desire on my list magically appeared before my very eyes. As I received my desires, I would cross them off my list. And when I had new desires, I would add them to my list. One of my desires from my original long list was to travel to Bora Bora near Tahiti. After spending a beautiful week at the exact place in Bora Bora I had listed, another beautiful thing happened. I was flying to the mainland of Tahiti on my way home when the airplane stopped en route to pick up passengers. The flight had been empty, but it filled to the brim with native Tahitians and suddenly laughter, smiling faces and a happiness that was palpable surrounded me. As I enjoyed the short flight with these beautiful people, it became crystal clear to me the reason why they were so happy. They were grateful. They were grateful to be alive. They were grateful to be on the airplane. They were grateful to be with each other. They were grateful for where they were going. They were grateful for everything. I could have stayed on that plane and traveled around the world with them. It felt so good to be with them. And then it struck me that I had just received my final desire. Bora Bora was the last desire on my original long list. And the reason I was on that plane was before my very eyes, gratitude. I've shared this story as an inspiration for you because no matter how big your desires seem to be, you can receive them through gratitude. Even more than that, gratitude will bring a joy and happiness for life that you've never felt before. And that is truly priceless. From the time I began using gratitude and the law of attraction to the time I received my final desire on my original list was four years. To give you an idea of the enormousness of receiving all my desires in that amount of time, when I created my desire list, my company was $2 million in debt. And I had two months before I would be forced to shut it down and would lose my home and everything I owned. The money I owed on my personal credit cards was a small fortune. And yet on my desire list was to own a big house overlooking the ocean to travel to exotic places in the world, to have paid all my debts, to expand my company, to restore every relationship to the best it could be, improve the quality of my family's lives, to be 100% healthy again, and have unlimited energy and excitement for life, along with the usual list of material things. And my number one desire which seemed like an absolute impossibility to many of the people around me, was to bring joy 
to millions of people through my work. The very first desire that I received was bringing joy to millions of people through my work. The rest of my desires magically followed and one by one, as they appeared before my very eyes, I crossed them off my list. So now it's your turn to use gratitude's magical power to make your desires appear before your very eyes. At the start of the day, take your top 10 desire list that you created, read through each sentence and desire on your list, and for one minute, imagine or visualize that you have received your desire. Feel as much gratitude as you can, as if you have it now. Carry your desire list with you today in your pocket. On at least two occasions in the day, take out your list, read through it, and feel as much gratitude for each one as you can, as though you've received it. If you want your desires to come more quickly, I would highly recommend that you carry your desire list with you in your wallet or purse from this day forward. And whenever you have time, open it up, read through it, and feel as much gratitude as you can for each one. When your desires appear before your very eyes, cross them off your list and add more. And if you like me, each time you cross a desire off your list, you will be in tears of joy because what seemed impossible was made possible through the magical power of gratitude. Magic practice number 22, before your very eyes. Step one, count your blessings. Make a list of 10 blessings, write why you're grateful, reread your list, and at the end of each blessing, say thank you, thank you, thank you, and feel as grateful for that blessing as you can. Step two, at the start of the day, take your top 10 desire list that you created. Step three, read through each sentence and desire on your list, and for one minute, Imagine or visualize that you have received your desire. Feel as much gratitude as you can. Tip four, carry your desire list with you today in your pocket on at least two occasions in the day. Take out your list, read through it, and feel as much gratitude as you can. Tip five, just before you go to sleep tonight, hold your magic rock in one hand and say the magic words, thank you. For the best thing that happened during the day. Thank you for your time, ladies. Bye for now.